G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and I've tried to film this several times with no avail over the last four or five days. We've had terrible weather. I mean, good for the fruit trees behind me and the vegetable garden and for the ducks and everything like that. It's been fantastic weather, but for filming and getting something out to you, which I wanted to over this weekend, it's been really difficult. I've had several goes at it and have failed all the time but I thought I would make a compilation video, so let's just get into it. With this extra heavy rain, unfortunately, we've had more branch drops from that big Morton Bay fig out the front yard. So here's a little bit of that. Do you know what a dingo's breakfast is? A drink of water and a good look around. Well, it's raining heaps here at the moment and it's not gonna stop. I've looked at the weather forecast and the radar and she's just gonna keep coming down. So I can't do the video that I really plan to do. First of all, you can see behind me that another one of our big limbs from this huge Morton Bay fig has fallen down. You might recall a video that I did not so long ago where this, all this wood chip came from where we had a limb drop. Well, I haven't even had a chance to finish cleaning up after that drop, and we've had another one drop. It's heartbreaking in a way because, well, of course it is, because there's several fruit trees underneath here. And again, I'm gonna to have to clean up this mess and try to rescue these trees. And uh, I'm afraid I've got a gut feeling by initial observations that we've lost a couple of trees and a couple of good plants because of this damn thing. Also earlier in the week when the weather was sort of on the verge of going downhill, we had a kookaburra just drop out of the tree. And here's a little bit of that. What's happened? I heard it too. Just here, filling up the duck's water bowls. I heard this thump came from over here. I'm sure it's something that hit the ground. The chicken's going off. Just heard this thud out of nowhere. Right, fall right behind me. Looks like a bird. What? A kookaburra. Just must have fell out of the tree stone dead. Or out of the sky. I'll have to bury him. a heart attack suddenly or drop from the sky that was odd I wish I could have filmed though you could have heard the thud it's really weird I didn't know what it was dropping but I knew it wasn't a branch and of course when the chicken went off she probably thought she was under attack from a hawk or something And now here's just a bit of a general walk around when I was trying to film in the rain. So I hope you enjoy my bumbling around in inclement weather. Avocado, doing well. I'm going to pick one of these avocados off this just to test probably one of the larger ones, this one here. I'm gonna pick one because that's really the only way you can tell if they're right or ready to be picked, is pick one off, sit it on the bench or in a paper bag, and then see if it ripens up. If it, if it shrivels up, that means it wasn't ready to pick. But if it ripens up nicely in a week or two, well then you know the rest are usually fairly well ready to be picked as well. Okay, here's a veggie garden. The orchard's doing really well. Of course, loving all this rain. And the vegetable garden's enjoying it too. Look at this artichoke. This is first season artichokes, so I haven't picked them. 
because the they're a little small a little small to be able to pick and eat um, so I'll leave the plants mature and next season they will probably grow a lot better hopefully and then produce bigger buds and will be able to harvest them and start eating some artichokes again. I haven't grown them for a couple of seasons. I thought we'd put in a couple this last couple of months and see how they go. This is Yakun. A tuber grows under there, edible tuber. Egyptian spinach. We've got the corn that really needs to be harvested now. We've been eating some of it but uh, it really is at a stage where it all should be picked. See it's starting to shrivel there. I mean, you can always dry it out when it's shriveled like that and use it as a flower or, or, or rehydrate it and use it in soups and that type of thing. So just because the corn is dried out or you haven't got to it early enough, still don't throw it away. I mean, it's, of course it's still good to eat but yeah need to get that harvested plenty of chilies as you'd expect in the subtropics growing really well i love these big ones Asparagus and ginger. Remember the passion fruit video that I did? They're growing well. There's one that has died. I can transplant another one in there, but to be honest, oh yeah, here's another one. There's another one gone. Most of these that are left will take over this trellis anyway. So they'll probably grow good enough to be able to cover the spots where some of them have died off. But I do have some spare passion fruits left over from that um, quick two minute how to grow passion fruit seedlings video that I did the other day. We've got some chilies on the go here. I'm not too sure of all the varieties. This was a, a chili variety mix that I've planted out. We'll see how they go. Rosellas, they're starting to mature well. Look at the small little calyxes starting to begin. We'll go down and let the poultry out. the duck pond is doing really well with all the rain of course the ducks just love this weather and they enjoy going through the grass and finding the slugs and the worms that come up because of the rain. I mean, it's just the best weather for a duck, isn't it? Look at them. Just loving it. You can hear them making their little happy sounds, wagging their tails.
this chicken here, I reckon, I often think she thinks she's a duck, <laughs> except she's smart enough to know she can't go in the water. But she follows the ducks around a lot, and I think maybe because she's white, the leghorn, I bet she wishes she could go in there like her friends, but she can't. Oh, the drake is after. Oh, yeah, got her. Mating begins. All right, well, we'll leave the ducks behind and we'll go and finish up in the orchard. I'll go a quick walk through there because my gear's getting wet and I've got to be careful, can't stand too much water. This is our prickly area. We've got pineapples forming, beautiful pineapple growing here. Dragon fruit. I've recently pruned this mango tree to open it right up. So if we go through into the middle here, you'll see what I mean. I can stand in the middle of this mango tree and you can see it's reshooting already. We, we cut this back in September. But it opened it right up. So this, not this summer, but next summer, we should get some good fruit on it. And I'm going to do a proper video on mango pruning and how to naturally get rid of that anthracnose and the black spot that often retards the growth of new fruit or stops fruit set. So that video is in the pipeline as well. This is a hog plum, subtropical plum. I've had to net the only fruit, this is the first fruit we've ever got on it. I've had to net it because the fruit fly seemed drawn to it. And uh, I want to have a taste of it. But that's been growing for a good five or six years and finally starting to fruit. An imperial mandarin, starting to get a whole bunch of fruit on it. We missed out last season. It's a biannual fruit, meaning that it'll fruit profusely one season and then skip the next. You might get a few, uh, a little bit of fruit out of it, but not a lot in that off season. And then the next season it'll go hard again. I've planted some tamarellos. They'll get about three or four meters high. I planted three in a triangular here. They're a red tamarello. I've grown them before. They're not a long lived tree. They can live three to five years. And uh, once our trees carked it, I didn't grow anymore. But I thought, no, let's grow a few more. A custard apple. See if uh, a couple of the fruits on this tree develop. We haven't got any fruits off it yet, but we've got a couple growing there. One here see if we can get a custard apple or two out of this now. It seems to be growing very healthy. What I've had to do though is, is put it to a stake and, and, and grow it up because it was leaning over too far. So I've uh, jammed a star picket in and, and as you can see, pulled it up straight because it was tipping over. Got some figs. This is our most mature fig tree. We've been getting a steady number of figs. Anyway, I hope you like this video. I know it's a bit of a mishmash. Some of you like that kind of style. Others like my scripted videos more. But nevertheless, I've got something out, especially for your, you hardcore self-sufficient me viewers. Love you very much. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, like the video, share it around. Bye for now. Oh,